Hi, my name is Ben Herman, and I want to introduce you to my supplemental, Art is History, Jacques Louis David and the French Revolution. This picture before you is actually a picture of the Palace of Versailles in the French countryside just outside of Paris. The purpose of the French Revolution. The French Revolution was actually all came out of the problems of the estate system, which was the political structure of France before the actual revolution took place. There was a problem because clergy made up the first estate, the second estate was made up of nobility, but the largest population had the smallest group known as the third estate. There was a problem with representation because under the classic French system, each estate gained one vote in all decision making. The problem was for the amount of people within the third estate, they only counted for one vote. So for years and years, we see the downtrodden of the French, the peasants and the bourgeoisie, which was the merchant owners. These men and women were constantly shut out of all debates. This was a time of absolutism. The king at this time was Louis XVI and his wife Marie Antoinette. They spent a lot of money and they ignored a lot of the problems of the people during this time period. Rather than spend money on rebuilding Paris or cleaning Paris, they built a giant palace. They spent a lot of money aiding in the American Revolution because they did not enjoy the camaraderie of the English. The financial crisis was worse because they didn't even have enough money to food, feed the people. Bread was very limited and the ability for the peasants to get it was almost non-existent. They were unable to work and make enough to live. It was a broken system and there wasn't much that could be done. This here is a picture of Jacques Louis David that's a self-portrait and this is also the Tuileries Palace which is where the king presided. After the estate system had failed and a meeting of the estates was supposed to get together to talk about this crisis of starvation and financial crisis, the third estate was locked out. And this is the first piece that we have from Jacques Louis David. David actually painted a chronological order of events that happened during the French Revolution. This is the tennis court oath. The tennis court oath shows the third estate not being able to handle it anymore. And what's interesting about this picture is that we actually get to see the lavishness of absolutism. At a time where men and women could not get enough to eat, the Palace of Versailles even had indoor tennis courts. And we see them make a pact for a new constitution right here on the tennis court of the Palace of Versailles. So as we can see, David is not only showing us a moment in history, but he is showing the fervor and excitement of a change in society. Absolutism became an absolute problem. The Girondins and the Jacobins were two groups that were made up during the Revolution period. Girondins were those who were loyal to the king, Louis XVI, even after he had been imprisoned by the, by the Third Estate. The Jacobins were those who wanted to get rid of Louis XVI and wanted to get rid of absolutism. These two groups were at odds throughout the Revolution and it led to some pretty nasty events. One of the nastiest being the September Massacres. During this time, a group of Jacobins will slaughter clergy and nobility, almost 1,200, and it will lead to major problems. Jean-Paul Marat wrote an essay, A Friend of the People, in which he supported the September Massacres, which led to a lot of problems. Marat becomes a voice of the, of the, of the Third Estate and becomes a voice of the Jacobin Party. Eventually, his fervor and excitement for the revolution will lead to his downfall with his death. Jean-Louis David painted this picture of Marat after he was murdered in a bathtub. As you can see through the painting, he has a stab wound in his chest, and he is actually writing a letter. And if you can see it closer, it actually says Charlotte Corday. Charlotte Corday was a spy for the Girondins. And 
you can see him in the towel in the back. That's because he actually had a rare skin condition and rarely left his apartment, spent most of his days in towels in the bathtub. He had a correspondence with her and thought that he was a supporter of the, of the cause, but she actually came in and murdered him. David actually painted Marat to look like a religious piece. He wanted it to look like a fallen martyr. Not only does this painting show a moment during the French Revolution, but it also stands as a symbol of the French Revolution and the needs of the Jacobin people. In conclusion, the Committee of Public Safety will come in and they will actually murder Louis XVI. And during this time, we begin to see a changeover, which will eventually lead to a coup d'etat by Napoleon Bonaparte. In preparation for next time, I leave you with this piece called The Coronation of Napoleon. In the coronation of Napoleon, we see Napoleon taking the crown, and that's where we'll begin our next lesson. What I want to leave you with today is that you can actually use art to tell moments in history. What is so significant about an artist is they actually paint from a point of view, and you can see that through their work. Not only do we see the tennis court oath, we also see the death of Murat, and we also see the beginning of the Napoleonic era. Thank you.